mountain's base. Whoa. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. This is the thing he's working on. Wonder if Sindri knows his sky mover is tangled with roots up here. I doubt it. How's he going to get it to work? I do not care. <laughs> Kratos is just like not giving any fucks. He has no fucks to give about so many things. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we can't get into that. It's covered with some kind of magical brambles. Alright, fine. And then that. Whatever the deal is with that. That's probably going to allow us to go up and down the mountain at will. At some point. Kind of looks like a super mutant. Is that smoke? Yeah. Uh oh, cutscene. I'm not controlling him. He's walking right towards Stay it. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? Well, don't walk into it, kid. We must find another way up. The witch. Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the black breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. <laughs> the Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. <laughs> She's a bow. Where must we go? And a sword. To a realm beyond your own. Man, if I was 20 years younger, I would cosplay as her. <laughs> That's an awesome costume. Follow the witch. Okay. Maybe she's really Freya. <laughs> Who knows? We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> oh, we can see down. Oh, there's the rope gonna take us down. Alright. Oh, here, look. Kratos wants to smash some pots, though, before we go down. Just give that a turn. There. See? Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. 
you believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. Oh, I'm good with sorry. languages. Sorry. Even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Oh. Yeah, the dwarf is gone. Dang it, I want to upgrade my axe. I found a flame. Are you watching? Leosta. What? It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. <sighs> well, now we know one. what the crystals are for. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Okay. So now what? Oh, is she waiting for me to open this door? I thought she was going to shoot the other crystal. Guess not. Jeez, lady, can't you open your own doors? Maybe they're too heavy for her to open. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. But what if I want to go in and see Brock? How about I do that first? Is that possible? Oh, nope, it's locked up. Okay. Guess we can't. Please. Take those hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Realign the bridge. Okay. Good. Now push it back into place. Realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. This is so cool. So I am just in awe of this. Call them but what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. I guess it's in position. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. Ah. 
That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not <laughs> hurt my back. <laughs> Through these doors. Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. The dwarf gonna be here? Oh, the camera really doesn't want me to look over there at the dwarf. Okay. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Oh, I think these are the horns that we were finding and sold to him. Oh, there's more shelves there for something. I bet we're going to find that later. Oh, and these are the masks that we've been finding and, se and selling to him. But he's not here, so I can't upgrade my axe. Well, doodly-doo. So dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Realm travel room. It's very dark in here. I guess I have to just go forward. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. The World Tree. Yggdrasil? Is that how it's pronounced? I've seen the name in mythology. Approach the table. Okay. Over here. How does it work? You will need this a Bifrost to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. No, yeah, I guess the I was saying it correctly. The tree of life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. 
The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> the bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. All right, change realm. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Okay. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. Realm available. Alfheim. Travel to realm. I guess this is it. We gotta go. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align. And the realm lose between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Oh, this is so cool. I kind of want to leave yet. To look around. Are we going to be able to travel to all these different realms? That looks like an amethyst geode. Oh, tourmaline crystals. That kind of looks like amber. Ooh. Is that quartz? Oh, man. Uh oh. This one's missing. This must be the realm of the giants without a tower. Just, I am so blown away by this game's visuals. I can't even tell you. I mean, look at that. This is so cool. Alright, we gotta get get on with getting on. Let's go. And we're back. It looks like Brock's workshop. There's the masks that we were looking at. There's all the things we've sold to him. 
Watch out, Atreus. Well, I guess we have to go through the tower to actually get into another realm. No! We're going right into the other realm here. Wow. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. I think you can go spot tree. The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. Uh -oh. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <laughs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. Caught up in the what? Don't get caught up in the what? Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Tears Look at this place. Bridge. Stay by me. Touch nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't touch anything. It's from another land. It's weird. Yeah, I was saying these are shaped like ginkgo. She's leaves. probably not coming back, is she? Oh, look at that. Okay. What is that? Don't know, but I do know I can smash these. There we go. Now oh, there's hack silver here too. Scenery might change, but Kratos can always whack things. Is there something glowing inside that knot? <laughs> I think you killed it. Our concern, boy. Focus. Oh, some dead, dead people. Oh, and these look like the braziers we saw, the, the ginormous. Yeah, we saw these out in the lake. Had the weird writing on them. Right? Didn't we? More dead people. I see dead people. Are these dead elves? Oh. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Read Papa a bedtime what does it story. Say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. Both sides need it. Why not just share it? Greed. The eternal war for the light endures. The same light we need for the Bifrost, of course. Map. Okay. And we're here, and we need to go here. You will find it a common cause for war. Yeah, greed is a bad thing. Oh, what is this? They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Darko! Ooh, this is new. Oh, 
Ooh, there's three of them. attacking us for we didn't do anything more will come you see any health kid <laughs> where's this stuff even come from oh there's some health both at the same time, I guess. Oh, look at that. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. That's like the statue that's on the bridge in the lake. Oh, hello. At least we're getting closer to the light. This might be the last one that we need to decode the other language that Atreus couldn't read. Nope, it's a symbol of cunning. Okay. Look, just looking around. <laughs> just, ooh, so pretty. Wait, was that Sindri? Is it? How did Sindri get in here? Compass area markers. When the compass turns gold, an objective is somewhere in the area. Search the area for clues. Okay. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Free the boat. Got it. But Pop wants to upgrade his axe. How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. <laughs> There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But, uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were really? told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right. But you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, <laughs> well it's your neck. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Let's get to it. Leviathan axe upgrade. Yeah, let's do that. Upgrade with the frozen flame that we found. Absolutely. Hey, you, uh, probably shouldn't let my brother lay his hands on again, oh. but if he does, 
Tell him to temper his steel Beautiful. longer. He's warping the bit work. I don't know if that's worth... Yeah, I guess so. Because this is only level one. So maybe we should do the wolf skin stuff. What the Good heck? Enough. It looks exactly the same. Oh no, his arm's covered a little bit more. And now we should be able to upgrade it, right? Yeah. Alright. Now, there is something else to tell you. Uh oh. What? Sindri? Have you always been so clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using... his own bare hands. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. Oh, okay. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. That's actually a thing in real life. I saw a TV show or something about that. There was somebody that had, like, an excess of silver buildup in their body, and it did make their skin look blue. All right, so what was on the boar's hide shoulder guard? Swap it out. There we go. But maybe I want the symbol of truth. It's got an arrow next to it, like it's better than what I have equipped, maybe? Is that what that arrow means? Sure, why not? But I have new skills. Okay, let's check these out. What have we got? I think I want to do maybe this one. And maybe this one. Eh, I think I want to get this one. I do use my shield a lot. Yeah, what is this? Oh, sure, why not? It's pretty cheap. Okay, we're gonna go with that. 